Hello, everyone. Welcome to tomorrow. In case you missed it, Intuitive Machines has been making some small but meaningful changes or pivots to widen their business case and have multiple streams of revenue coming in because so far their product, Nova C, hasn't exactly performed as expected. Their first two missions having been failures. Despite their tall, slim lander having tipped over twice now, they still have two more missions to go, with the third one coming up next year. Part of the problem with where they've been attempting their landings is a lack of communication. So a big part of their plan is having some sort of lunar communication relay satellites so that they would have a strong signal no matter if they're on the north or south pole of the moon. Which brings us to our first story that you might have missed. Intuitive Machines has acquired a navigation and guidance company called Connect X, which has over 30 years of experience building that type of equipment, mainly for government customers. But with this, Intuitive Machines is reversing course a little bit. They had originally contracted York Space to build their relay communication satellites to improve communication on the moon. However, <laughs> with this, Intuitive Machines and intends to build those relay satellites themselves in-house to control its production, its cost, and ensure that they'll have mission success in the future. Their third commercial lunar payload services mission is going to be the first with those relay communication satellites as a rideshare piggyback payload, and they also have one planned for their fourth mission as well. However, despite the last two failures of the Nova C, it has proved to be a somewhat decent vehicle in terms of its guidance, navigation, and maneuverability in orbit. Landing is another story. So that brings us to our next story that you might have missed. Intuitive Machines is pivoting towards having their Nova C vehicle essentially be a space tug. <laughs> They've received a contract from a government agency, I'm not sure which one though yet, to uh, advance the design to turn this vehicle into a space tug, an orbital transfer vehicle. Essentially just removing the landing legs and installing a ring on top so that they can do rideshare payloads and <laughs> do what some of these other companies are doing with pursuing small space tugs to get payloads into hard to reach destinations. Honestly, it's a brilliant idea. The vehicle did perform well when it came to guidance and navigation until it lost a signal. And <sighs> why not continue to use it in this form? That sounds great. Honestly, I hope this works out for them and that their design for the Nova Sea Lander ends up being a useful vehicle just as an in-space vehicle, not as a lander. Which brings me to the third story that you might have missed. Intuitive Machines has submitted their proposal for the Lunar Terrain Vehicle, which is a contest for unpressurized lunar rovers. However, Intuitive Machines' proposal has the full delivery of that lunar vehicle with their own lander, and not Nova C, an upgraded Nova D vehicle. They finally have a larger, wider lander that honestly looks like it's made out of components of the Nova C lander anyway, but at least is larger and would be able to accommodate much larger payloads. I mean, they even call this their heavy cargo class vehicle. This could be used for clips missions. This could be used for delivering unpressurized lunar terrain vehicles. Whole bunch of uses could be used for this if it works. Oh yeah, we talked about this on the live show, but they also have a Earth reentry capsule that they're working on. Glider, I guess you would call it, to look at space drug manufacturing, materials manufacturing, crystal growth manufacturing, and returning it to Earth for different research purposes. So they've got a couple of cool things that they're working on, aside from their tall, skinny lunar landers that so far haven't worked. So yeah, despite having two failed lunar missions, Intuitive Machines is doing well and continue to get new investors and new government contracts. And between all of these different areas that they're looking at, they're hoping to pursue not just hundreds of millions of dollars, but potentially billions of dollars. So there's going to be no slowing down for Intuitive Machines as they pursue those goals. As of right now, their third lunar mission is supposed to occur sometime in 2026 and their fourth sometime in 2027. We will see if they are able to complete their critical design review for the space tug version of the Nova C. And if so, 
my prediction is we would maybe see those in 2027 or after. But as far as their Nova D, their wider lander, if we ever do see that flying operationally, regardless of whether or not they win the lunar terrain vehicle uh, competition to get a contract for that, we wouldn't see the wider Nova D lander until 2029 at the earliest, with 2030 or later being more likely. And again, that might be all dependent upon whether or not they win that lunar terrain vehicle. And if they don't win that competition, I'm not sure if they'll develop their Nova D lander for the CLIPS program or if NASA would have any sort of contracts for it or if there would be any other sort of commercial business for it. But what do you think? Do you think that Intuitive Machines is going to be able to have one of these different plans be some sort of successful revenue stream for them? Are they just going to be entirely dependent on NASA and government contracts? Or are they going to have a commercial business case at some point, either with the space tug or with their reentry vehicle to bring back space drugs or with their landers, possibly even with their communications relay satellites? What do you think, though? Do you think that they have a business case, or is Intuitive Machines doomed to fail? I certainly am rooting for them, that's for sure. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed that quick update, especially if you did miss any of those news items. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to us if you haven't already, and consider becoming a member to support us making more space content in the future. Thank you very much to all of the members who have been supporting us already. My name is Space Mike, and until the next time I see you guys, keep moving onwards and upwards, and don't forget, Ad Astra, to the stars.